Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about physical change, let us look at chemical change. So chemical change, the name itself suggests so here we will see some changes in the chemical composition of the substance. So here substance undergo change in their chemical composition. So not only the appearance will change, whether the appearance changes or not, but there will be some change in the chemical composition. So a new substance, a new chemical substance will be formed. And mostly these type of uh, changes are mostly irreversible. So you cannot actually reverse it back to the original substance. So let us look at this example, the rusting of iron. Do you know what is rusting of iron? Now, just check this out or maybe you can try it out sometime if you have some old iron objects. So you will see that if the iron objects which are made up of iron, if they are left open uh, in air and in water. So if they are allowed to remain in presence of air and water, a red colored layer forms over the iron. So here you can see this red colored things which you see over iron that is nothing but rust. Now once the iron gets rusted in that case you cannot get back the same iron. So the process is like irreversible and what is this rust? This rust is a new substance which is a new chemical substance which is formed which is an oxide of iron. So a reaction happens between iron, water and uh, oxygen and as a result an, a new chemical substance called iron oxide is formed and which is nothing but rust. So that new chemical substance appears in the form of this reddish coating over iron. So this is an example of a chemical change. So here it is not only the appearance which has changed it is also the chemical composition which has changed. So we will look at examples of uh, chemical changes. So the first example is cooking an egg. Now do remember that breaking an egg was a physical change because only the shape and size was being altered. The chemical composition was same. But when you cook the same egg, so when you break the egg first, so which is a physical change and then you put it on a pan and you, you cook it, you prepare an omelette out of it. In that case, what happens? The chemical composition also changes. So it is not only the appearance which has changed when the omelette was formed, but also the liquid egg white. So this liquid egg white, it was initially, this was liquid, right? And now this liquid egg white has become solid when it has been cooked. So that is one thing which has changed. Also during cooking, the protein molecules which are present inside the egg, they also undergo a lot of changes in their structure and as a result the chemical composition also changes. Therefore the type of protein which is present in an omelette or a cooked egg is quite different than the type of protein which is present in a raw egg. So basically when we cook it, the chemical composition gets altered due to heating. So therefore cooking an egg is a chemical change. Think of rotten vegetables. So when you leave an apple or an orange or a bread outside for a long period of time, what happens? It tends to become um, spoiled, right? So if you look at uh, a, a slice of potato, in fact you can try this out at your home. You cut a slice of tomato, potato and you leave it outside for a couple of minutes, maybe 5 to 10 minutes and you will be able to see a black colored uh, layer on the potato. So what is that black colored layer? In fact, when you keep an apple for a large number of days outside, you see that it get, it becomes rotten like this. If you look at an orange, you'll see that some greenish layer appear on it gradually. So what is happening in this case? Now, do you think that the rotten orange can become all right again? No, the change is irreversible. So what actually happened is when you leave it outside, when you do not put it to the refrigerator, so the environment becomes suitable for the growth of microorganisms because most of the microorganisms like bacteria or fungi, they prefer warm and moist places. So when we leave these fruits or vegetables for a, a large number of days outside, so the environment becomes perfect for the microorganisms. So they start growing. So they start eating the fruit or the vegetable and as a result, when the bacteria start feeding on these uh, fruits or vegetables, they are gradually turned into some other substances chemically. Now some compounds of nitrogen are formed, some compounds of carbon dioxide are formed and that's how the chemical composition of these substances get altered due to the action of the microorganisms. 
So that's how rotten vegetables are also an example of a chemical change. So whether you talk about a rotten orange, rotten apple, you talk about a slice of a potato which is left uh, in open for some time or a slice of brinjal which is left open for some time and you will be able to see that blackish layer. Let's take another example of baking a cake. Have you ever baked a cake? Even if not, you would have definitely eaten a cake, right? Now, if you ever look at the process of preparing cake, you will see that a dough is prepared using all the ingredients and then it is baked in an oven. So, when heated, what happens? A baking powder is again one of the ingredients. So, when it is heated, it causes the baking powder to produce tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide gas which makes the cake fluffy. So, if you get a chance to see the process of baking a cake, so inside the oven you can actually see the uh, entire dough rising up, it is becoming fluffier. So, why does that happen? That happens due to the chemical reaction, uh, due to the action of baking powder which makes carbon dioxide release. So, due to the release of carbon dioxide, the tiny bubbles are formed and the cake becomes fluffy. Also, due to the heat, the protein structure in the ingredients also undergo a change. Now, since there is a change at the chemical composition level, therefore, it is considered as a chemical change. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.